The Alabama Army National Guard is a component of the United States Army and the United States National Guard. National coordination of various state National Guard units are maintained through the National Guard Bureau. Alabama Army National Guard units are trained and equipped as part of the United States Army. The same ranks and insignia are used and National Guardsmen are eligible to receive all United States military awards. The Alabama Guard also bestows a number of state awards for local services rendered in or to the state of Alabama. Units 122nd Troop Command 1103rd Combat Support Sustainment Battalion 161st Medical Battalion Multifunctional 167th Theater Sustainment Command 440th Theater Opening Element 279th Army Field Support Brigade 111th Ordnance Group EOD 441st Ordnance Battalion EOD 641st Ordnance Co EOD 666th Ordnance Co EOD 1307th Engineer Detachment EHCC 135th Sustainment Command Expeditionary 200th Regiment Training Institute Schools Studies and Academics 1st BN – Officer Candidate School 2nd BN – Military Police 3rd BN – Engineers, BNOC 62nd Troop Command 1st Battalion – 167th Infantry Regiment attached. 226th Maneuver Enhancement Brigade 31st Signal Company 711th Brigade Support Battalion 1st Battalion, 117th Field Artillery Regiment EABFA 155 Toad 31st Chemical Brigade 145th Chemical Battalion 690th Chemical Company Recon, Decon 440th Chemical Company Smoke, Decon 151st Chemical Battalion 1343rd Chemical Company Smoke, Decon 208th Chemical Company Recon, Decon 231st Military Police Battalion 214th Military Police Company Combat Support 217th Military Police Company Combat Support 1165th Military Police Company Combat Support 203rd Military Police Battalion 128th Military Police Company Combat Support 152nd Military Police Company Combat Support 1166th Military Police Company Combat Support 877th Engineer Battalion 166th Engineer Company 168th Engineer Company 186th Engineer Company 1151st Engineer Company 20th Special Forces Group and Active Units 142nd Battlefield Surveillance Brigade activated in September 2009 inactivation ceremony held on September 18 2016 HHC Decatur AL 321st Military Intelligence Battalion Austin Texas USAR 1st Battalion 173rd Infantry Regiment Enterprise AL Company A Company B Company C 31st Brigade Support Company, Ozark, AL 67th Network Support Company, Billings, Montana MTARNG Duties National Guard units can be mobilized at any time by presidential order to supplement regular armed forces, and upon declaration of a state of emergency by the governor of the state in which they serve. Unlike Army Reserve members, National Guard members cannot be mobilized individually except through voluntary transfers and temporary duty assignments TDY, but only as part of their respective units. <laughs> Active duty call-ups For much of the final decades of the 20th century, National Guard personnel typically served 
one weekend a month, two weeks a year, with a small portion of each unit working for the Guard in a full time capacity. New forces formation plans of the U.S. Army were announced in early 2007 modifying the recent 2001 United States National Guard active duty call-up pace. The new plan will nominally anticipate that each National Guard unit or National Guardsman will serve one year of active duty for every five years of service. Secretary of Defense Robert M. Gates imposed a one-year limit to the length of federal deployments for National Guard soldiers. Call-ups by Alabama authorities for state emergencies are not included in this policy. History The Alabama Army National Guard was originally formed in 1807. The Militia Act of 1903 organized the various state militias into the present National Guard system. On the morning of 21 July 1861, the Union Army under the command of Brig. General Irvin McDowell, in an effort to cripple the newly assembled Confederate Army at Manassas, Virginia, fired the opening shots of the first major battle of the Civil War. Both armies were largely made up of volunteer militia with regiments of both sides wearing blue and gray uniforms. The brunt of the Union attack fell on the Confederate left flank. Confederate Brig. Gen. Barnard B., having recently resigned from the U.S. Army and still wearing his blue uniform, realized that the Army's left flank was seriously exposed. General B. ordered the 4th Alabama Regiment of the Alabama Brigade to advance rapidly in order to plug the gap in the Confederate line. For over an hour, the 4th Alabama held position and repulsed several Union regiments. The gallant stand of the 4th Alabama stalled the Union advance and gave the Confederate forces more time to regroup. The regiment played a prominent part in the fighting all day and contributed to the Confederate victory. The Battle of First Manassas proved to both sides that the Civil War would be a bitterly contested struggle. The 4th Alabama went on to fight in every major battle in the Eastern Theater of the Civil War and never surrendered its colors. The heritage and traditions of the 4th Alabama are carried on by the 1st Battalion, 167th Infantry, Alabama Army National Guard. The 31st Infantry Division Dixie had elements in Alabama for many years, though Divisional HQ was in Jackson, Mississippi. It was deactivated in 1968. Following the inactivation, the Alabama Army National Guard was allotted the 31st Brigade, 30th Volunteer Armored Division, located in Tuscaloosa. In 1973 the 30th Armored Division was inactivated and Alabama was assigned a new major headquarters, the 31st Armored Brigade separate, with its headquarters at Tuscaloosa. In 1979 the headquarters was shifted to Northport, Alabama. In 2002, the 31st Armored Brigade was inactivated, merging into the 149th Armored Brigade headquartered in Kentucky. Alabama was again assigned a new major headquarters, the 122nd Chemical Brigade, later redesignated as the 31st Chemical Brigade. Approximately 300 Alabama ARNG soldiers deployed to Iraq with the Combat Aviation Brigade, 36th Infantry Division, Task Force Mustang, in September 2006. The previously active 142D Signal Brigade was inactivated in August 2008. On the 13th of February 2009, the comedian Sasha Baron Cohen tricked guard officers into allowing him to participate in training at the Alabama Military Academy at Fort McClellan. The officers were led to believe that Cohen was a reporter making a German TV documentary. The ruse ended when a young Alabama cadet recognized the actor. Said Guard Spokesperson Staff Sergeant Katrina Timmons on 16 March 2009 about the incident, it's an embarrassment to the Alabama National Guard. Since then we have put in protocols to make sure this doesn't happen again. <laughs> <laughs> Historic units 167th Infantry Regiment 131st Cavalry Regiment 200th Infantry Regiment 117th Field Artillery Regiment 203rd Field Artillery Battalion See also Alabama State Defense Force Transformation of the Army National Guard